Have their way back into it, especially with a dominant third quarter. Leonard to Kennard, open for three. Book it for Luke Kennard. To start the game against the Celtics. And listen, Sacramento 29th in the league in opponents' points. See the little jump right there. Hesitation there by Ibaka, even though Holmes is a much smaller player. I thought he should have gone up and just dunked the thing with two hands like that. And Rashawn Holmes it out. Second effort by the Clippers. Lob to Leonard. Oh, makes the grab, maneuvers in flight, and lays it home. Talk about creating offense. There's one right there. You get a second shot opportunity, and they come it's right. It's Buddy Heald. Wow. Jackson, great look at a three. Ahead of the clock, and he does it again. Most of the way, he was knocking threes down, taking the ball out of bounds on the side, stepping in, then banking another three off the glass. What a, an awful lot of threes. It is, it's actually 73%. Last year it was 62 years ago, it was 47. Kawhi Leonard, he's become a little bit more one dimensional offensively, talking about healed. Fox, the southpaw, floats it home. Clippers have opened up four for 15 in this first quarter. Fox slinks his way to the cup, battles Ibaka and Lee. Coming out of the timeout, Leonard bangs inside a good closeout by Holmes and and Clippers get the loose ball back at half court. Ibaka down the lane, flushes it home. Count court and tie in a joking way. He said, what are you talking about? We're three and one in those games. <laughs> Looking to go four and one, but De'Aaron Fox is going to make. Of the Sacramento player into the backcourt. Therefore, it should have been the Clipper ball. But the official didn't quite agree. A nice reverse by Kennard. An Ames, Iowa native. They work it back out to Fox and they reset. White side, the runner. What a clever pass. Efficiency here going forward. Kawhi Leonard back out there. 90 seconds to play. A lob to man off the window. Gets his own rebound and puts it back. Cut the lead down to one here. 20 to 17 with a minute to play in a rapidly moving first quarter. Man glides in for the score. Back to back the one. They'll have the ball to start the second quarter as well. Lou the runner. Lou the rebound. Morris the shot. Lou the assist. And the Clippers lead by two. Look at all the things that Lou did on that one. He drove, he shot, he missed, he rebounded, and he got an assist by kicking it out to Senior. His usage numbers spiking. Halliburton leaves it short. Zubats with the rebound. The Clippers look to push. This is something they've done very good against Sacramento. They get it to Reggie Jackson. Oh, and he flung him right back at you. Rebound back tap to Whiteside. Halliburton can shoot. Exhibit A right there. Sounds to me like. I do know this. He is a player, and the Sacramento Kings got a good piece right there. Morris on top of the three. Said he's starting to feel good as he put it, his legs getting back underneath him. Halliburton drives and dishes to Guy for the catch and shoot. There's a role for a. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. He had me thinking about Hall of Fame. Uh, I, I think there's a place for that, uh, that a guy coming off the bench who's a consistent performer, as you oh. see. In fact, Jamal has started about a quarter of his games throughout his career. Lou hasn't done that much, but Jamal Crawford off the bench, the first to ever win three awards in a row. Lou Williams followed him. They both deserve consideration, in my opinion. Back and forth we go. Here is Lou, and he's cementing my hall. Gets a screen from Whiteside. Whiteside loiters around the rim, a slumbering move. Need to play well, share the basketball. And just stay positive. Well, Christina, I've got great news. The Clippers are doing just that. Great defense at the rim for Sacramento. They are losing not just scoring. What they're losing is the leadership. We see the kicking out to an open teammate. And that's what he does. He creates stuff off the dribble that makes defenses go, how are we going to defend this guy? Four Holmes misses. Nothing but black shirts inside, but friendly fire. And the Kings regain the possession oh a rare out of here on super sunday you see what i did there yeah i, I did yeah touch, football reference touchdown super bowl count the best fox weaves his way into the paint boy he is he is good canard given space flings a three hits short bagley beautiful pass ahead to heel who flushes it in with the right hand timeout Leonard on the post up, squares up on Barnes. Mid range jumper in route. And if anyone may be in NBA history, it was the same game that Heald scored 42 off the bench. 
Nice feed inside to Ibaka. Better blocked by Holmes. Ho oh, ho, how about the recovery? Barges into the paint. He misses. And the rebound goes to Barnes. And this is the Kings coming back the other way. Lob to Holmes. Into the rim and lays it in. In the second half of the second quarter. Misses. He's three for ten so far today. Halliburton to Heald in the corner. Got the three. And Not lay it home. Clips have had a number of shots roll in and out. Fox knocks it down and going seven of 11, but closed going just three for 13. They trail by three as we get this one started here in the second half. They now trail by Nard. Big rebound inside by Leonard, surrounded by white jerseys, and the Clippers kick it back outside. Kennard to the cup and lays it in. Kennard regrettably picks up his dribble, slings it back out to Jackson. A late in the clock shot for Jackson and the new rule. Clock about to expire and I was starting to say it was interesting. The Clippers went out and picked up full court to start the third quarter. And we talk about fastest players. You know, there is a tracking device in the ceilings of all the NBA arenas. Jackson to the rim. Oh, it lays it later. Overall for the Sacramento Kings fires a three and puts it in. And the Clippers coming of a slumbering start to the second half after a quick 4-0 burst. Ibaka redeems himself and now Leonard back the other way. Perhaps got away with the walk. Knocks down the little mid-range jumper. You could make the argument that the King player touched the ball, allowing him to take a couple of extra steps. Fox the other way gets the two right back. With that floater, he knocks the majority of them down. Jackson. Off the window, block. He told me before the ball game, what's the one thing that has stood out to you about Nicholas Batum? He said his defense healed for three. And just like we fear oh. for nine yesterday from above the arc, he has hit three triples today. Comes up from 20 and knocks it down. That puts points on the board quickly, and a lot of those points. Don't dig yourself a hole that's too deep. And look at that. A flush three for nine does have six points and seven rebounds. Barnes to Holmes in his little pet area. Not the arc here today. Trailing by seven. Lob into Holmes. Picked up by Lou Williams. Dumps it into Bagley and he staples it in with foul because he saw there was a big guy being guarded by a guard. They made the perfect cut. And Batum knocks down a little fifth. What a block by Ibaka! Man the other way. Hands it off to Leonard. Off the window and in. Tries to get little three and four footers. Kawhi on Glenn Robinson the third. No, but Ivica Zuba. Rebound goes back to the Clippers. Man hesitates. Gives to Senior for the tie. Book it. I love it. to play here in the third quarter. A quarter in which the Clippers have dominated Sacramento. Not today. I think the thing is with De'Aaron Fox, he's taller than people think that he is. He's able to finish, and there we see Lou. Lou? Oh, between a pair of defenders to play here in the third. Sacramento will have the ball to start the fourth quarter. Fox gets to the foul line and knocks it in, and De'Aaron Fox with 20. The final frame, but it's the Clippers with the lead. Joseph. Gives to Robinson the third, and he knocks it down. They prepared for that one, anticipating they might do it. Jackson misses. Oh, big time rebound and a better finish for a by the Clippers. Guy with an awkward runner doesn't go. Rebound poked back outside. Halliburton, great look at a three, and it's good. It's part of the problem with the zone. You Sacramento out in front. Halliburton for three. Another triple, and just like that second. Three-point line and never thought about it twice. Jackson turns the corner, gets downhill, lays it up and in. Of his three, shooting 42% as a rookie. Two-man game with Whiteside, and there's that floater you keep talking about, or a lean of in. Halliburton with nine to shoot. A runner is good, and a the rebound, and Sacramento now looking to add to their three-point lead. Guy, a strong drive to the rim, and, and the Clippers control Kawhi Leonard getting set to check in for the final eight minutes. Zubats deep inside, turns to the rim, and lays it in. A strong Small guys on him. Joseph sizes up Jackson, gets into the paint, challenges Zu. Oh my goodness, Zubats on that. 
And the Clippers choking down some canary feathers. Can Lou Williams make him pay? Yes, sir! And the Clippers. And Kawhi Leonard has checked in at the, what, eight-minute mark and hasn't taken a real shot. And Fox drills the three, and now Sacramento leads by one. Kawhi back the other way. Oh, teeter top. Burton picked up by Lou. Gets his screen. Ignores it. Feeds to Fox for three. And got it. Fox with a little bit better, but they can still score the basketball. Nice job that time of Kawhi defending up until the make it up the trail by one. But they're going to have to figure out a way to stop this guy. Fox misses, gets his own rebound, and puts it back up and in. Kawhi on the baseline. 15 footer is good. Clippers Sacramento leads. Fox into the paint. Off the window, no. Rebound tapped up and in by Barr. It's an open look. Take it. Leonard on Barnes runs him over, sidesteps him, and lays it in. Just walked over the two timeouts left for Sacramento. One for the Clips. Fox wrap around to Holmes with the flush. 111. It's a two possession game. Lou gets to the rim and lays it in. It's 113 to 110. And that will.